welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a flip through of this month's Colouring Heaven. So this is the Zodiac Special, uh, issue 67, and it features 40 designs from four different illustrators. So it's Mayumi Ogihara, Tanya Bond, Kelly O'Gorman and Mitzi sato Wief. I've probably butchered their names, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, so four illustrators. Now, if you're not familiar with Colouring Heaven magazine, this is a almost monthly magazine. Uh, it comes out every four weeks, so there's 13 editions a year. Uh, it's roughly A4. It has a matte cover on both front and back. Um, and this means that you can actually colour in the cover as well as the illustrations inside, which is a really nice touch. So, let's get started. Now, I'll briefly mention that they do, on the inside front cover, they do tell you a little bit about the four uh, featured artists. Uh, it includes their websites and their social medias. Um, I won't read it all out. It also includes uh, Colouring Heavens details as well, including their Friends of Colouring Heaven, which is their Facebook group. Now, I am a member of this Facebook group. If you are not, then I highly recommend it. It's a good atmosphere, it's very supportive, and it is a great place to post your uh, finished pictures if you've coloured in any of their issues. As we know, this is the astro well, the, I say astrological, it's the Zodiac special. So this one is obviously Aries, and we're starting with uh, Miyumi Okahara's, which is Designs 1 to 12. Now, they do tell us in Colouring Heaven, what's usually it tells us what's on the page uh, facing, but obviously, as we've got the inside cover here, they do include the details of this illustration on this page. So yeah, starting with this one, it's obviously a, a nice big portrait. Um, generally speaking, portraits aren't really my thing. Uh, I do do them occasionally, but then just not my not my jam. But these are really uh, beautiful illustrations. Taurus, that's me. Uh, and they do feature in the little zodiac sign somewhere on the illustration as well, which is nice. Um, okay, so we have Gemini, the twins. One thing I'm noticing straight away is if you like colouring hair, which oddly I do, I don't like doing faces, but I love doing hair. Um, so these illustrations already, I can see they've got a great deal of hair to, uh, to colour and play with. So here she's got her uh, zodiac sign like a, a tattoo. Because this is cancer, they've got the, the crab claws in her head that's interesting this is Leo and she has her claws and there's her symbol in her earring lots of fur here so a nice furry uh, mane Virgo so wow look at this hair this is really I love that and a nice little flowery if you know me on my channel you know I'm a sucker for flowers so I love her little uh, flower headband she's done very um, is it that's sort of that old-fashioned Italian or Grecian um, I say Italian Roman I mean uh, old-fashioned style so she could be wearing a toga and here we have Libra so she's got the scales as her headdress, a nice little butterfly there as well. Again, lots of hair. This time it's a big flower, uh, sort of, she's wearing a big boa. So, flower, uh, flowers? Feathers. I know, words. Feather boa. Here we have Scorpio. So that one's quite cool when they've done it. Uh, you know, with like a, a scorpion, they do have these sort of armor segments and that's how her hair is. So that is rather like the tail and that's like a stinger. Um, okay, so I don't know if you can see that. My page is a bit messed up. It's, um, can you see that? Uh, it's like, it's, it's not dirt. I think that's ink. It's gone through a dirty, dirty roller, which is a bit, eh. But at the same time, um, chances are, if that had been Taurus, I might have been a bit more peeved. I, when I buy a book, I mean, I'm a, I subscribe to Colouring Heaven anyway, and I'm on there two years for the price of one. So the each issue is super cheap, and I know 
uh, any book I buy, I'd never think that I'm going to colour every single picture. So it's, you know, probably not, I might not even want to colour that picture. I imagine if you colour over it, it you could get away with it. Um, but it's not really the point, is it? That's That should never have made that through quality control. Let's hope it's just the one page that's dirty. Okay, so Sagittarius, we have our archer. You can just see that she's, uh, you know, because Sagittarius is part animal. It's not quite nice to see a lady Sagittarius. Usually you see the male depicted as Sagittarius. Um, Capricorn, so we have our horns again. More fur. This is Aquarius, so obviously she's underwater, a bit mermaidy. Uh, she's got a little guppy fishes here, so that's nice. Pisces, another underwater one. So we, again, we've got our fish. A nice little turtle there if you want to do a turtle. And then we are on to our next illustrator, which is Kelly O'Gorman. Uh, this is going to be more my thing, I know already, because uh, uh, the portraits are lovely, but they're not my jam. These sorts of things are a bit more my jam. So we've got a dragon in a in 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 her. Yeah, she's got eyelashes. It's a it's a girl ram. Is that possible? Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> we've got a, a dragon in the horn, but we do have other animals. We've got birds in the nest, and we've got what's that? A little owl. Maybe some flowers. Obviously, I like the flowers. We've got this lovely lily here, got a smiley face. So yeah, I mean it's a bit uh, zen doodly, zen tangly. I'm not sure of the difference between zen doodle and zen tangle, but uh, I quite like how these are done. Now this is my star sign again, Taurus the bull. Uh, flowers, so they must know it's mine because it's got loads of flowers. Um, what have we got in here? Okay, so we've got a face, a little bit uh, creepy. I don't know what they are. Fish? Eyes? Anything? Oh, it's got a nice, nice ring through their nose as well. But yeah, obviously this is a very floral one. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, so we have Gemini, the twins. Again, lots of flowers. Uh, obviously this is very symmetrical because they're the twins. So it's a bit uh, mandala-y. And that to me looks like a heart as well. So yeah, I like how that goes. Nice bit of hair to play with, but they're quite simple images. I mean, well, as long as you like flowers, they're uh, very basic, but yeah, I do like that one. Okay, we have Cancer, another crab. Ooh, well, it wouldn't be a video if we didn't have a siren. Welcome to London. I'll just wait for him to go past. Ambulance, in case you were curious. Okay, so, um yeah where was i so we got cancer the crab claws so we have ourselves he looks like a bat i really like him he's wearing a bow tie and what we got there i'm not sure what that is so, but we've got houses here uh that oh these are birds i just realized that's upside down uh bird heads it makes me think a little bit of like you know the uh, native american totems they have like those kind of heads more birds down here as well and some feathers so yeah, that's a nice, it's, that looks like the Eiffel Tower. And some water. So yeah, lots of details in these um, images, these entangly ones. Wow, look at this one. Okay, so Leo. So that's like a circus tent, isn't it? But are they like pigs or something? No, pigs don't have long noses like that. Something like that. But we've got some owls. We've got our elephants. I love these. I love how the elephants are here. So yeah, that, maybe that is a circus tent. We've got ourselves two um, sort of wizards. We've got their magician's hat on or whatever. More fish. Uh, oh, we've got some wolves in here. So, oh, yeah, a few flowers. Loving it. I like that one as well. Um, okay, so Kelly, Kelly O'Gorman's pictures are a winner with me. Okay, so lots of hair here. Uh, this is Virgo, so we've got, she's got a bit of an angel wing, but yeah, lots of flowers bit of um, wheat and the like and lots of hair a bit rapunzel -y. okay so we have Libra again we have the scales of justice that she's holding 
and she's like um well obviously she's got lots of flowers but she, this is almost like i don't know you think of them maybe as roots so she's almost kind of like a tree with this but she's got flowers in her hair as well bit of a hippie chick i suppose but yeah really nice really nice uh, images from kelly o'gorman i'm liking these ones okay so we have scorpio Again, I think these are kind of bird beaky type things because these look like wings. We have fish. We have, okay, so that's like a stag beetle type horns, isn't it? I don't think scorpions have those. But we've got like a, a bee or a fly here. Um, oh, little turtles, little turtles, fishies and turtles. <laughs> okay, birds, maybe owls. And this is a face. Yeah. Win, win, win. Okay, Sagittarius. This is a bit more tra uh, traditional. We have our male Sagittarius. Um, and that's just kind of a zenting, sangly, doodly one. Uh, with a fine tail, it has to be said. Capcorn. So this is this the sea goat. And so she's done with a, you know, with this long scaly tail like this and a little fish there got that's that bird but yeah another face we've got i don't know what that is <laughs> it's just something uh perhaps it's nessie we've got a lighthouse that's cool because the lighthouse is his eye uh fish this is one of those um pictures i like these kind of pictures they're the type of ones that is that an elephant uh they're the type of ones that you know you look at first time and then when you look at it again you you spot something else i love pictures like that i love when you can't see everything in the first glance so we have more fish because this is aquarius we have a bit of an oct octopus type tendrils is it a squid maybe it's a squid uh and obviously we have um a little girl being dragged into the rain the rainbow as well because it's all about the water Pisces, so that's a, that's a fairly traditional uh, depiction of Pisces with the two fish, a bit yin and yang. That's uh, that is actually one of her more um, plainer ones, isn't it? Because they are literally just a fish. We've only got a few extra flowers popped in there. Okay, so that's her, and we are now on to Tanya Bonds. Uh, she, Tanya Bond does have her own um, colouring books as well, as does Kelly O'Gorman. I'm not sure about the other two artists. I don't, I'm not familiar with them. So Aries, we've got the sheep in the plant. Okay. Um, fair enough. Taurus, which is me. So, uh, what have we got? Flowers. Well, I'll have to look up and see. Maybe flowers is a thing for Taurus that I hadn't even realised. She's wearing like a fur cloak. Gemini, twins, obviously that's duplicated. I um, Though the flowers are different, so it's not entirely duplicated. You could do that as day and night, couldn't you, if you wanted. Um, obviously, again, these are kind of portraits with the big faces, um, which is not my thing. It's a little crab. Oh, she's wearing the claws for... Um, shoulder pads as you do um so yeah uh, i'm not gonna lie this isn't really my style which is why i don't have any tanya bond books i already in my collection and don't really plan to but that's kind of why i like coloring heaven in that it gives me little tasters i would never probably buy a tanya bond book but now i've got some tanya bond images and one day i probably will pick one of these out to do eventually And it's nice to have the option and colouring heaven you know does obviously push me out of my comfort zone which is why I like it so Libra again here's her scales she's got a little lizard sitting on her shoulder I love that Scorpio she's got her pet Scorpio a scorpion in her hand got a big storm going on here if you like doing backgrounds and weather uh, that's going to be a winner for you. Sagittarius. Okay, so we have our uh, hunter. She's not. She's not part. What are they? Part uh, stag? Are they? I don't know what they are. 
Um, but anyway, she's just in a dress, so yeah. You could do that really nice and creepy though. Capcorn. Sorry, if you can hear screams, that is not children being murdered. I do live opposite a school, because you know, it's not enough for me to live on a main through road. I also live opposite a school and they're having some sort of sports thing outside in the <laughs> So every time they score a, I think, what are they playing? No, they're playing football. So every time someone scores a goal, there's a big scream. Okay, so yeah, that's Aquarius. So we're back to our water. Pisces with uh, fish, flying fish in this case. That's quite a nice one. And it looks like her dress is made out of, um, you know, plant, a bit of seaweed maybe. And okay, and now we're on to the final stretch. So this is by Mitsu Sato Weif, which I know I'm saying that wrong. But anyway, so she has three miniature ones to a page. This is how we're gonna get through our last four pages. These are so cute, look at these. Love these, even though they have no nose. Another siren just went past. I'll try and edit that out. <laughs> Hopefully you won't have heard it. Because, you know, there's only so many sirens you can take. So this is Aries, Taurus, which is mine. I love it. Gemini. Yeah, they're in their togas as well. I'll have to have a look. I guess Gemini must be in, in togas. Okay, so we have Cancer, Leo. Oh, look at that. Nice huge mane I love these oh and if you like your hair then you will love that one that's very sweet so that's a Virgo then we have Libra and we've got um, Scorpio and Sagittarius if you like doing fur you're gonna like him These are nice as well in that they're small. Look, I do like small images, which means, you know, it's easy to jump in and maybe do one and then you don't have to complete the page all at the same time. You could do that little section and be content you've done one. So we've got Capricorn, Aquarius and a Pisces. And they've got those little cute little faces as well on the fish. And there it is. And then we have a uh, usual back page is dedicated to their subscription offer. So you can get Colouring Heaven all around the world um, on subscription. Some You can buy it in places like Barnes & Noble in the US. In the UK, you can buy it from big supermarkets and news agents. So Tesco's or, you know, order it from your news agent. Um, or as I say, you can subscribe and their prices do um, include the delivery. And then their current issue, uh, their current offer is three issues for five pounds. They do quite often have, um, nearly all the time, they'll have a subscription offer. So if three issues for five pounds doesn't suit you, then you could just uh, maybe hold out and um, look for one that's more suitable. As I say, I've seen, subs I'll try that again. I've seen subscription offers for uh, that have included pencils. I've, as I say, I the um, gosh words. The subscription offer that I'm on at the moment is two years for the price of one. So I thought that was a really good deal. Um, so yeah, they do vary their offers. So if you don't see one you like, it might be worth just waiting a month or two to see what they change their offer to next time. Anyhow, I hope you found this flip through useful. If you did, give me a thumbs up uh, as that really helps the channel. And obviously, if you have not subscribed, then hit the button. Uh, hitting the little bell, you can set it to receive notifications of any time I upload new videos. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Take care and see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.